Wagwan beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you are subscribed down below. Now for today's video, I will be styling and customizing this unit from westkiss.com. So I'm just showing you guys quickly what is in my box before we get into styling and customizing the unit. Now this hair, as soon as I got it, I'm like, this is giving me Jessica Rabbit vibe. Like as soon as I saw the body wave and the color of it, the color is super, super vibrant. I don't know if my camera is doing this hair justice, but in real life, this hair is beautiful. So I'm doing a quick shed test to let you guys just see if there's any shedding straight out of the package. And um, it's a body wave, it is in 24 inches and the lace is 13 by four, so it's not that deep. And the frontal came pre-plucked somewhat, but I feel like I want it to look more natural because it's a little bit too dense in the front still. And I didn't need to bleach the knots or nothing like that because the knots are kind of red-ish. So if I bleach it, it's gonna look blonde and that's a big no-no. So to make it look natural, it's best to just pluck it you don't need no bleaching okay girl you don't want to ruin the wig because if you ruin it i don't even know what to tell you so i'm just showing you guys the method that i use to pluck my frontal so i just bring the hair forward and just take my time and go through it you don't want to stop at one place because you don't want to give this lace a ball spot because that could also ruin the look of the wig now the hair came like straight back but i wanted a parting i didn't know if i wanted a, a center parting or a side part but as i said jessica rabbit vibe and she got it on the side so we about to do some bang yang okay we're about to do a side part i that was so bad the impression that i just did oh my god um so yes i'm using water to lay it on the side and this is my method of um darkening my lace to match my natural scalp color or just basically my complexion instead of like using a lace tint because sometimes it looks darker after it's dried um i need to find like a new color to create my lace tint but i've been using this method like using foundation powder um just on the lace directly and it has been working for me. So if you guys wanna try that trick, because with this, you get to wash off the lace and start fresh again, um, as opposed to the lace tint where it might like stain the lace and that's it. So I'm just showing you guys my basic method of applying my wig, installing my wig. If you have your own method, that's fine as well. Um, it's always got to be freezing spray for me because I ain't with the extra extra glue because I like my edges and I want to keep my edges so I ain't about that life. And with my process of installing my wig, it's it's literally trusting the process because it looked a little bit jacky in the beginning, but it turns out great. So I'm just going to let you guys see that process that I did. So some more details on the hair. As I said, it's 13 by 4. It is in 24 inches and the hair is in a 180% density. This is a 99J color. So if you go on the website, it should take you directly to the color here, the link that I'll have down below for you guys. And um, yeah, so 99J. Now this is my final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. The hair quality is very nice. Um, I got a little bit of frizzing 
it's nothing crazy i didn't experience any shedding the hair is still silky and soft i could run my fingers straight through it curls nicely it holds curls like i did a little bit of loose curl with my one iron but nothing like tight or anything like that just something loose and simple so all the details will be in the description box down below don't forget to subscribe subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that's chef and i'll see you guys in the next video go on big up on yourself bye guys